Welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is super simple, healthy, delicious, very quick to make, uh, vegan um, and absolutely fantastic. One of my favorites which I actually don't make very often. So I'm going to make just the simplest okra masala today. And before I do that, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any recipes and let's get cooking. So I've just found some fantastic uh, fresh okra, we call it bhindi uh, and I've just found and this is around exactly actually 900 grams. I'm just going to first give it a quick wash. Just a quick rinse under the tap and then just spread it on a clean um, kitchen towel and let it kind of dry out. And just get another clean towel and just wipe them dry. You can leave them out for a couple of hours which will dry them naturally but um, I haven't got that much time. I want to cook it right now. So when that's the case, I just dry it out with another clean tea towel. So this is all the okra and now I have dried the each and every single, every single one of them. And now what we do is we chop the head off. You need to make sure that these are dry, otherwise they will get slimy when you cook them. So you chop the head off, you chop the tail off and you do the same with all of them first. And once you've done um, the tail and head, then just chop it into like a centimeter size pieces. Just like that. So like any other vegetable, there are many ways of cooking okra all over India. It's cooked in many different ways, used in many different ways. The way I am cooking it is the way my mum cooks it. And uh, the reason I love this the best is I, I love okra in many shapes and forms. But um, the simplicity of this recipe is it hasn't got any gimmicks. It hasn't got tons of ingredients. It's just simple food everyday food ready in minutes and right now i've been cooking a lot of recipes and sharing here which are kind of done in 15 minutes or half an hour at the max and this is one of them and i love it because um you can really taste the okra and i love okra and i think okra is such a vegetable uh, vegetable which is a lot of people um have kind of dissed it because it's um it's just not cooked correctly and when it's not cooked correctly obviously it's not going to be uh, delicious and once made really well this is a fantastic vegetable so this particular recipe just lets the okra shine if you haven't tried it before then i would recommend in the supermarkets you can buy like small packs of okra so i would say don't buy such big quantity i'm making um like the total of the weight of this okra is around 900 grams because it does kind of wilt down um so this is going to be um good for us for maybe a meal or and a half or meal or two um so if you want to give it a try and you haven't cooked it before obviously don't buy so much and just try it with a smaller quantity of okra and then you'll know what I mean by how lovely okra can be and that's the quantity after chopping it all up I'm going to now get some onions um, I have got here four kind of uh, medium smallish onions and I'm going to first thinly slice this just do two three tablespoon of sunflower or rapeseed oil and I've just got a small piece of ginger and I'm just going to grate this up. In goes a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Let them sizzle up. Then I'm going to add that little piece of ginger. Let's cook this through. Not for long. And then add in the onions. And I'm just going to let them soften up. I don't want any color, so it will take three to four minutes. You can have half the quantity of onions, but the onions make so much um, 
such a big difference to the flavor in this particular recipe, which is why I'm using four of them. So been uh, three minutes. Now I'm going to add in the okra. Uh, I haven't added any spices yet. And what I want to do is just cook this on high heat um, for good five minutes. I just want uh, some of the okra to get like uh, how the onions got a little bit of um, kind of charred on some pieces. That's what I want for the okra. So just give it five minutes uh, for that. So just keep cooking on high heat. Been four minutes and as you can see it's got this absolutely lovely kind of charred bits on some of the okra and the onions and that is going to be beautiful and add the tons of flavor so now you can see that the okra is becoming very slimy right you can see this sliminess that's coming with the okra um, and that is absolutely fine you just have to cook through it I'm going to give it another two minutes. So like I mentioned, you right now it's at the stage where it's uh, kind of getting a bit slimy and you have to just cook through that stage. So I'm giving it a total of uh, uh, six to eight minutes. And now that it's slightly charred on the edges and it's uh, kind of uh, got a bit slimy, I'm going to add the spices. So we've got a teaspoon of salt. Just the basic spices, homemade garam masala, one teaspoon. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of a ground coriander, chili powder to taste, teaspoon of chaat masala. If you'd like to see uh, how to make chaat masala at home, let me know in the comments. And then all that's left to do is mix it up. And now I'm going to lower the heat because so far I've been cooking it on high heat. So lower the heat, mix it up. You can see it is still slimy, which is absolutely fine. Do not stress right now. So all I'm going to do is cover and cook this on low heat for 10 minutes only. Now you'll notice that I've added all the spices but uh, missing one kind of common one that we use a lot in Indian food which is turmeric. Now I, oh, my mom always has said uh, that don't add turmeric to okra. So uh, you will find even in India a lot of people don't add uh, turmeric to okra because it, you know I don't know the exact reason. It's just something I've grown up with so I never add turmeric to this okra uh, sabji. Um, uh, yeah, and I think it just takes away from all the lovely greens. So I, I totally agree with the point. So no turmeric in this sabji. It's been exactly 10 minutes. My timer has just gone off. I don't make bindi often, okra often, because I can't, I, I, I don't go to the Asian supermarket very often either. Uh, and when I do and they have fresh okra, it just makes me so happy because it's such a delicious dish. Come look closely. So you'll see a lot of difference. The green has kind of uh, slightly died down. And the most important thing, there is no really all the slime has gone. So it's all very kind of separated pieces. It's looking beautiful. The onions have softened up really nicely. And it smells really good as well. So this is, I think, the way to test whether the okra is cooked or not. If you just press one of the okra pieces, it just kind of cuts through and it falls apart. And that's the test to see whether the okra is done on ready or not. And that, my friends, is definitely ready. Look at that. So beautiful. So this is our bindi masala and I have just prepared this um, 
percadal to go with it. And then I've got some bundi raita and some papar, some rice. And this is how my plate of food looks. This stunning bindi masala with some dal and all the bits. And underneath there's a pile of rice. Now, what would you serve this with? Because obviously a lot of people want to know what how I would serve this. Um, this is something I would serve with chapati and a nice tarka dal. You can find lots of lentil dal recipes on my channel. Um, and if I uh, sometimes would just have this actually in my lunchbox with some lachha paratas. Oh, so good. So, so good. But yes, if you want a full meal, then I would serve this with dal. And also dal rice is a great comb. Dal rice bindi is like a classic uh, desi Indian combination. Um, it is very hot. As always, why would I not do this to myself? So exciting <laughs> to burn in my mouth every single time. Stop talking. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Simple spices, chaat masala really does add that magic. If you want to know chaat masala's recipe to make at home, let me know in the comments below. If I get a really good response, I will show you how I make chaat masala at home. This is so fantastic, absolutely delicious. And it just melts in your mouth. It's not chewy, it's not slimy, it's not greasy. And that is how you make perfect okra at home. Bye for now.